In this video, we're going to be making a graph using the data we collected in our FET simulation. So I'm going to be using Microsoft Excel to make our graph. If your teacher has you using Google Sheets instead, you'll find that there is a separate video linked for this. Although you'll find the process in Excel is very similar to the process in Google Sheets. We're going to begin by adding our headings to our spreadsheet. The independent variable will be either the voltage or the number of loops. Your dependent variable will be the magnetic field strength. And the units for field strength are the letter G. Next, let's enter our data. One, two, three, four, five, and then 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. This is just sample data. Please don't use this data when you make your graph because it will be wrong. All right. Next, we're going to go up to the insert menu at the top. And then in the middle here, you'll see this chart section. You want to find the chart labeled insert scatter or bubble chart. Click that. And then the very first icon here is a scatter plot. Go ahead and click that. You can drag the corners to make your graph a little bit bigger so it's easier to work with. First thing we're going to need to do up at the top is change our title. Our title should always be the independent variable, sorry, the y-axis versus the x-axis. The y-axis should be the field strength versus the x-axis, which will be either the voltage or the number of loops. Next, you click the plus sign here, you can add titles for the axes. So our y-axis is going to be the field strength. And again, the units are the big letter G. Down here at the bottom, this will be your independent variables. This will be either voltage with the capital V or the number of loops. The only other thing our graph is missing here is a trend line. So if we click the plus sign and we go to the trend line box here, check that and it will insert a trend line into your graph. Next, let's go ahead and copy this into our lab document. If you right click on the graph and go to copy, you can go back to your lab document, click below the evidence section here, go to the edit menu and then paste. It will bring your graph in. You can drag the corners to make it larger or smaller, but as long as it's pasted into your document, you should be good. And that's all you need to do for this section of the lab. 